today i am going to start another new lesson for grade 9 students that is unit 15 of your textbook on simple machines in our day to day activities we are using various types of machines to make our job easy simple machines are the building units of all those complex machines so first we will see what are simple machines simple machines are the strategies that are used to make the job easy Simple machines are very useful because they reduce effort needed to perform a task using a small force. Here, a single force is applied to do a work against a single loaded force. There are four main types of simple machines that are used in our day-to-day -day activities. They are lever, inclined plane, pulley and wheel and axle now i am going to discuss each of these types of simple machines separately first we will move to the lever actually what is a lever lever is a simple machine consisting of a beam or a rigid rod pivoted at a fixed fulcrum now observe the given diagram clearly here you can see that the force is applied downwards to lift the object upwards this change of direction of force is the main advantage of using a lever for lifting an object. This lever has three main parts as effort, load and the fulcrum. The effort is the force that we are applying on the lever in downward direction. Load is the weight that we are going to lift by using the lever. Here the load is lifted, lifted upwards in applying effort downwards fulcrum is the point where the lever is pivoted and balanced according to the position of these three parts of the lever there are three main types of levers as first order lever second order lever and third order lever now we will see the features of these three types of levers separately and how they differ from each other. First we will move to the first order lever. In first order lever you will find the fulcrum in between the load and the effort. Pair of scissors, seesaw, forcep, cowbar, weighing balance, pliers are some examples for first order lever. In second order lever, the load lies in between the effort and the fulcrum. Nutcrackers, wheelbarrow, bottle opener are some examples for second order levers. In third order lever, you find the effort in between the load and the fulcrum. Fishing rod, broom, Tweezers, tongs are some examples for third order lever. Now we will move to the next form of simple machine that is inclined plane. Inclined plane is also known as ramp. It has no any moving parts and is used to lift an object directly upwards. We know that it is very difficult to lift a heavy object directly upwards. So that we are using an inclined plane to move it upwards using a less effort. Wedge, staircase, screw jack, screw nail, ladder are some examples for inclined planes. The next form of simple machine is wheel and axle. It consists of a wheel that is attached to a small axle so that these two parts can rotate together in lifting an object. You can observe it clearly by studying the given diagram. The last form of simple machine is pulley. It is also a common simple machine that we are using in our day to day activities. Pulley has a wheel on a fixed axle. They are used to reduce the time and energy needed to lift a heavy object upwards. 
For example, we are using pulley to draw a bucket of water from the well. Also, you are given a calculation part related to simple machines in your textbook. Here, I am going to teach you only the equations related to calculations in simple machines. I will do my next video on how to do calculations regarding simple machines. So, the first equation that you come across in the lesson is on mechanical advantage. To find the mechanical advantage of a simple machine, you have to divide the load that we are going to lift using the simple machine by the effort that we apply to lift that object. The next equation is on velocity ratio of a simple machine. To find the velocity ratio of a simple machine, you have to divide the displacement of effort by the displacement of the load. The next form of equation you find in the lesson is on efficiency of a simple machine. To find the efficiency of a simple machine, you have to divide the mechanical advantage of the simple machine by its velocity ratio and multiply the obtained answer by 100%. Uh, this is all for the theory part of the lesson and we will meet with the next video to see how to do the calculations regarding simple machines. Thank you and have a nice day.